Sky high mortgage rates have many home buyers and sellers waiting it out on the sidelines, but area realtors say that might be starting to change as a new level of acceptance emerges for people who need to move right now. Our real estate expert is back with us this morning with a closer look. Lane Lyon is a managing broker with Coldwell Banker. Thanks for coming in. Corey, good morning. Nice to see you. So first, the Federal Reserve is expected to make a decision about those interest rates. What do you think is going to come from it? Well, a lot of eyes on this one today, and there's a lot of opinion out there that the Fed likely will not uh, make any moves today, likely won't raise interest rates. But I always find it interesting, Corey, that there's almost more attention on what happens after the meeting. Mm -hmm. The press conference with Fed Chair Jerome Powell, what will he say? Will he give any indicator or signal about what's to come and what will happen moving forward as we go into 2024? And uh, there's a lot of speculation that at some point the Fed will start to cut rate. Uh, mortgage rates aren't exactly tied to interest rates, but they are impacted and housing officials are watching that very closely just to find out when things might start to change. Will we get an indication today? We'll have to wait and see. All right, let's talk about mortgage rate fatigue. This is like essentially people that have been on the sidelines saying, I just need a house. Yeah, right. And this is an expression that I've started to hear a little bit more. In fact, one of our managers last week was talking about this. He follows trends very closely. And it has to do with this idea that home buyers have hung back on the sidelines because they've been waiting for rates to come down. Mm -hmm. Well, what have they seen? Rates go up and up and up. And finally, they just say, you know what? I've accepted this. I'm jumping in, taking advantage of a market that we have here in our area, which is prices a little bit softer, sellers a little bit more willing to work with you helping you buy down that interest rate so you can make the numbers work. So how does this work for homeowners who want to sell, need to sell, maybe hate giving up that amazing 3% interest rate that they have right now? It's a hurdle. It's a mindset. You know, my dad is, is one of these people who say, I will never move. I love my interest rate and I'm staying put. And that's nice for people who are retired and right. don't have to move. But we still have life events. Uh, I don't know. We've outgrown our house. Yeah. We've had a baby. We're not going to be married anymore. Mm -hmm. Things like that that come up up. And we are talking a lot to homeowners right now about the fact that we weren't expecting 3% interest rates uh, before the pandemic. We also weren't expecting home values to go up 40% in three yeah. years. So this idea of kind of shifting your mindset to the fact that using some of that equity to get into a house, pay down that interest rate a little bit, use that equity, pay, and just get into a situation that feels a little bit more comfortable. Sure, it's not gonna be 3%, but you're utilizing equity you didn't think you were gonna have. I love this phrase. You say it's kind of cliche, but you mm -hmm. said, date the rate, marry the home. Correct. It makes sense because people who are on the sideline, once those rates come down, then you're gonna to start to have those bidding words again. Well, exactly, and people will be refinancing right. who had the mortgage rate fatigue mm -hmm. and said, okay, I'm pulling the trigger. When everyone else is scrambling to find a house, you will be refinancing. Yeah, you're locked in. Yeah. All right, as always, Lane, thank you so much. Thanks for having me on. Appreciate it. Ed